Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. It is our college basketball update and free pick for Saturday, January 9th, 2021. Before I jump into everything, a real quick note, I've also got a free pick video in the NFL for Saturday. It's available on my YouTube page or on my homepage at DocSports.com, so you can check that out. We'll be doing a free, at least a couple of free videos per day moving forward here on out as long as the schedule permits, and in most cases, the schedule does permit. All right, real quick note before we jump into the free play, couple of quick notes. We've got our football package still available at DocSports.com on my homepage. Four plays, three in the wild card round and Mondays college football championship game and of course the star of the show in the football package seven star play in Sunday's NFL uh, you know how well we've been doing in college football and NFL combined in fact now 74 percent up over $5,100 on our current run. Six unit and up plays are now 70% on its current run, up over $5,700. And we've got, again, all four plays available on my homepage at DocSports.com, all in the same package as we always do. That means you're going to get the three NFL wildcard plays, including the seven star and Monday's college football championship all in the same report. Also wanted to mention that we are aiming to go to 4-0 and this season with our seven star plays in college basketball. Uh, obviously that means we're 3-0, and we're up $2,100 with these seven star plays. We don't have a ton of them as you can tell, only four since the college basketball season began way back in late November through Saturday. This play that we're gonna have is our fourth. And again, we're 3-0 and with these plays. They've all been blowouts with single digit favorites. It started oh, over a month ago with Toledo over Eastern Michigan. Toledo was laying a bucket. Uh, they win the game 91-74. Uh, our next one happened to be Illinois over Penn State. Illinois laying a couple of baskets. They beat Penn State 98 to 81. And most recently, not too long ago, we had Kansas uh, laying anywhere from five to six points at TCU. Kansas throttled the Horn Frogs 93 to 64. So we're not only winning these games by blowout margins thus far, uh, but we've covered the spread by an average of 17 points per game. So guess what? We got a single digit favorite again on Saturday. It's a day game so be sure to check that out it's part of a three game package in college basketball for me on saturday and again the lead plays that seven star plays we look to go to four and oh and up twenty eight hundred dollars with these plays on the season also pga we mentioned the other day it's back in action we did cash on friday and we've got a plus money underdog on saturday if we win this plus money underdog we'll go to 31 and 18 on our current pga run going back to august and we'll be up almost four thousand dollars for one hundred dollar per unit better if we cash this underdog and again it's all available on my homepage docsports.com along with some saturday soccer uh, but again the star of the show seven star nfl part of the nfl college football four game package and the seven star college basketball part of the three game package in saturday's college baskets and again the seven star in basketball uh, it is a day game it's an afternoon game so be sure to check that out if you wish let's look at some free college basketball action in the pac-12 last two days we've given you under the radar plays as i like to call them here we've won both including an easy win last night Cleveland State. And I do have, by the way, an under the radar game, a four star play available as part of that three game package in college basketball for Saturday. So you'll want to check that out. Uh, but off to the Pac 12, which means we're back on the regular board for the most part. And uh, Washington State has built this real nice record, as you all know by now, I'm sure. But when you look at who they've done it against, it's been little sisters of the poor, to use an old cliche. The best team or teams that they have beaten, that they have wins against on the season uh, are Eastern Washington and Oregon State. You could argue one's better than the other, but not by much. Uh, but none of their wins have come against teams in our top 120 power ratings wise. Ken Palm agrees. I think their best win comes against Eastern Washington according to his ratings. 125th is where they sit. Uh, Washington State is not in anybody I know. I've got a circle of betters with me, about five or six guys, and none of us have Washington State power rated in our top 100. So it's a situation where they have fattened up against soft opponents, and now they're going to take on the best team they've faced so far this season as far as our power ratings are concerned, talking about the Stanford Cardinal. 
and I think they're in a bit of trouble. Washington State has not shot well inside the arc from behind the three-point line despite playing a soft slate. And you know what you get out of Stanford? Not only do they shoot the two-point, uh, the two-pointer extreme, extremely well, excuse me, uh, but they also defend well. And I like them to get the win here. That line at seven and a half as I cut the video. We think that's fair if you like the Cardinals. So going to recommend to play a free pick on Stanford minus the points over Washington State Saturday's college baskets. And again, you can check out my NFL free pick video for Saturday available right now. And again, we'll be right back here late Saturday night, early Sunday morning. We'll have another free pick from Sunday's card. If you like the videos, click on the thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Saturday in the win column.